In 2017, something strange entered our solar system, moving at 87 kilometers per second, faster than anything we've ever seen. It had no comet tail, no dust, no visible gas, and then it sped up against the pull of the sun. No natural object should behave this way. Some scientists say it's just a rock. Others believe it could be alien technology. Hello and welcome. I'm John, coming to you from Infinite Universe NTH. Today we dive into the mystery of Oumuamua, our first known visitor from another star, and the questions it left behind. So what exactly was this thing that came and went so quickly? Astronomers spotted it on October 19, 2017, using a telescope in Hawaii. It was moving fast, so fast that by the time we realized it was here, it was already on its way out of the solar system. They named it Umuamua, a Hawaiian word meaning scout or messenger from afar a name that felt eerily perfect. Once scientists calculated its trajectory, they realized something shocking. This object didn't come from us. It was on a hyperbolic path. It wasn't orbiting the sun. It was just passing through and never coming back. This wasn't a comet. It wasn't an asteroid. It was something else, small, maybe just a few hundred meters long, shaped like a cigar, or maybe a flat disc. We're still not sure, but what made it unforgettable was how it behaved. No tail, no gas, no visible dust, and yet it accelerated. Just enough to defy gravity, just enough to defy explanation. Imagine that. An object from another star system, traveling alone through the darkness for millions, maybe billions, of years, only to brush past Earth in total silence. Some called it a rock, some called it a relic, and others wondered if it was technology, alien technology. Before we dive into the theories, we need to understand what kind of object could behave like this and why it still leaves us with more questions than answers. It came from the stars. It left behind a mystery. And now, it's gone. But the story? The story is just beginning. It wasn't just the shape or the speed. It was what Oumuamua did after passing the sun that changed everything. On September 9th, 2017, Oumuamua made its closest approach to the sun. Like all space rocks, it should have slowed down as it climbed back out of the sun's gravity well, but it didn't. Instead, scientists noticed something strange, a tiny unexplained acceleration, just 17 meters per second, barely a push, but in the world of physics, that's a big deal. This kind of motion shouldn't happen unless something is pushing it. And here's the kicker. There was no gas, no dust, no comet tail, no outgassing, nothing to explain that push. Telescopes, including Spitzer, searched for infrared signatures and found nothing. That's when the scientific community kind of split. Some clung to natural explanations. Others dared to ask the unthinkable. Was it technology? The truth is, science doesn't like gaps. But Oumuamua left a hole in our understanding. And holes, they attract wild ideas. As a scientist, that's uncomfortable. But as a human being, it's thrilling. That moment, when the universe does something it's not supposed to do, and dares us to explain it. The question now wasn't just what it was, but how something like this could exist at all. Coming up next, the theories. From natural icebergs to alien light sails, 
and why both sound crazy until you hear the details. When the laws of physics no longer add up, theories rush in to fill the silence. And in the case of Oumuamua, the theories that came next were bold, controversial, even outrageous. Let's start with the loudest one. In 2018, Harvard astrophysicist Avi Loeb put forth an idea that made headlines around the world. Oumuamua might be alien technology. He proposed that instead of a natural object, Oumuamua could be a light sail, an ultra-thin structure designed to ride on stellar winds. Something built, engineered, sent from another civilization. Loeb pointed to its high reflectivity, its unexplained acceleration, and its thin, flat shape. Too flat, he argued, to have formed naturally. But not everyone agreed. Daryl Seligman, a postdoc from Cornell, had a different take. He believed Oumuamua was a dark comet, a chunk of ice covered in dust, releasing invisible gas as it warmed by the sun. No tail, no flare. Just a slow, silent release of hydrogen. Together with Jennifer Bergner, Seligman showed that under extreme cold and cosmic radiation, water ice can trap hydrogen inside. Then, as the ice warms, it rearranges, releasing that hydrogen in small, undetectable bursts. That, they said, was the push. No aliens required. It was a battle of imagination versus chemistry. And honestly, both sides made compelling points. Loeb argued that hydrogen icebergs couldn't survive interstellar travel. They'd melt from starlight before ever reaching us. Seligman countered with lab data and new models. To this day, neither side has won. And maybe that's the point. Maybe Oumuamua wasn't here to give answers. Maybe it was here to ask better questions. Coming up, we thought Oumuamua was one of a kind. But what if there are more of them, right here in our own solar system? If Oumuamua was just one strange traveler from another star, we could chalk it up to cosmic coincidence. But what if I told you it might not be alone? After debating what Oumuamua could be, scientists began to wonder, could there be others like it, hiding in plain sight? So they dug into the data, and they found something unexpected. Six objects, all near-Earth asteroids, small, quiet, unremarkable, except every one of them was accelerating. Not fast, not flashy, just enough to make the math stop working, no dust, no tail, no visible reason why they were changing speed. Sound familiar? One of these objects, called 1998 KY-26, is already scheduled for a close encounter. Japan's Hayabusa-2 spacecraft, fresh off its last successful mission, is on its way to visit it by 2031. KY-26 is tiny, only about 30 meters wide, and spinning once every 10 minutes. It's water rich, and it's moving funny. Maybe it's a normal asteroid, maybe it's another dark comet, or maybe it's something else entirely. The point is, Oumuamua might not be a one-time event. It may have been the first we noticed, but not the last of its kind. And if that's true, it means our solar system isn't just a destination. It's a crossroads. Coming up next, can we catch these visitors in time? And what would it take to chase one of them down? If these mysterious objects are real, and if they're showing up more often than we thought, then the next question is obvious. Can we catch one? When we spotted Oumuamua in 2017, it was already speeding away at 26 kilometers per second. That's faster than any spacecraft we've ever built. Chemical rockets? Not fast enough. Too late. 
we simply couldn't catch up. But then came Project Lyra. A group of engineers and physicists sat down and said, what if we tried anyway? Their idea? Use the planets like slingshots, launch from Earth, swing around Jupiter, dive toward the sun at full speed, and ignite the engines during the fastest point, a maneuver called a solar Oberth burn. The result? A probe blasting out of the solar system at over 70 kilometers per second. It's risky, it's complex, and it's never been done before. A second trajectory? Even more elegant. No need for a sun dive. Launch, Venus, Earth, deep space turn, Earth again, Jupiter, then out. If launched between 2030 and 2033, the mission could reach Oumuamua by 2048. Yeah, it sounds like science fiction. But here's the truth. Nothing about it is impossible. We have the math. We have the technology. What we don't have is time. The farther it gets, the harder it becomes. And so the question shifts. How far are we willing to go to follow the unknown? In the race to chase these mysterious objects, one thing has become painfully clear. We need to see them sooner. With Oumuamua, we only had days, not enough to launch anything, not enough to even plan. But what if we had months, or even years? Enter the Vera C. Rubin Observatory, a next-generation sky survey telescope set to change the game. Located in Chile, this powerhouse will scan the entire visible sky every three nights. It's equipped with the LSST, the Large Synoptic Survey Telescope, the largest digital camera ever put into space science. Once operational, it's expected to detect dozens of interstellar objects every single year. That means next time, we won't just watch Oumuamua fly by, we'll see it coming. And with enough warning, we can intercept, we can explore, we can prepare, We'll no longer be caught by surprise. We'll be waiting. For the first time in human history, we're building the tools to not just observe the cosmos, but to respond to it. Coming up next, what if we finally catch one? What happens when the unknown is no longer out of reach? We've talked about chasing them about building faster ships, about seeing them sooner. But what happens if we actually catch one? What do you say? When you come face to face with something that's traveled for a billion years from another star, what questions would we ask? We could test its chemistry, learn what stars it passed, see if it holds signs of life or technology or something beyond both. Maybe it's just a rock, cold, silent, no secrets at all. But even that would be an answer. Or maybe it changes everything. A message from a civilization long gone. Or proof that we are not the first and not alone. In the end, it's not just about catching a rock. It's about chasing possibility. About asking better questions. About stepping into the unknown and daring to listen to what it has to say. Because out there, between the stars, something is waiting. And maybe, just maybe, it's waiting for us. This is John, signing off from Infinite Universe NTH. See you in the next frontier.